Holy cow. Look at all the records. Oh my god, oh no my way. John. Look at all these old Gosh, records. There's hundreds. The Beatles, 1962 to 66. No way. We're in the new city with a new camera and we're trying this thing out for you guys. We made a big travel to film videos. So I'm just sitting here waiting to turn left <laughs> to go check in all these in the new city to see if it produces anything. See anything on your side? A huge bag of chips. A huge bag of chips. <laughs> well, I say huge, but it looked big. Oh my goodness. So, whoa. Look at this. It's like, this is an unopened bag of chips, right? Where's the chips? What the heck? There's like barely anything in it. And you're saying that's sealed? Yeah, it's sealed. Look, it's in here. What the heck? But there's like barely any chips in it. Here's some um, rice chickpea crackers. Take those and try them. Never tried those before. And so that was cold stuff that went bad over here. And of course, it's hot here. Yes. Looks like that's all we're gonna get are those two things there that are safe to take. All right, next one up here we have a Dollar Tree. Let's see. Got a gamer looking chair with no arms on it. Bunch of other furniture just kind of tossed about. Nothing. Just trash. Okay, let's roll. Look, check this thing out. Looks like some looks a little tykes. Play. Dylan. Let me see. Right, I guess it's a piece to some sort of a playset, so we're gonna have to pass on that one there because we can't do anything with it. Let's go see what it is she sees. Hey, I don't know what kind of this is. Let's check it out. I like these. I don't know what store this is, but oh, that's it's nice. It's a pretty nice big rug. Yeah, I want that. <laughs> Huh. Must be some sort of a uh, thrift store, thrift maybe. Store, I guess. Interesting. Okay, I'm probably gonna hop in here real fast because I want those plastic big bowls. Oh, those are nice. I'm actually. always running out of plastic big bowls because I end up using them sometimes for dog water, or dog food, mixing, and everything else. Oh, well, let me see what's in here. A little cake pan. Nice. Uh, I guess I'm going to put this bag and go through it and see what exactly is okay. in there. Might see need this here away. in a minute. Oh, nice. It is going to yeah. rain. We'll hold on to that for sure. <laughs> here we go. Now I'm going to get back in here and grab these bowls. Ugh. Wait, what's this? I don't know what this is. Power-wise, I don't know what this is. <laughs> but it's heavy. It looks heavy. Power -wise. Can you get it? Looks like some sort of a tool type thing. It's definitely a battery charger. I wonder if it works. Okay, I guess I'm getting the bowls. I do not see lifts to those. Okay, here. There's definitely some severe storms headed our way. Aww, look! That's too cute! Nice. Here, take that. Sure. Could be an eBay item, potentially. Well, it looks kind of old. Oh, birdhouse. Nice, that's cute. Oh. That's really cute. Another umbrella. Nice. <laughs> is it hitting to us? Uh, I think so. I doubt the mic's picking it up, but it is rumbling off in the distance. Another little suitcase thing. Hey, that's a lot nicer than the one Aaron has. Let me see it. Is it? Okay. Oh, look, the camera. No way. It says Discovery Fuji. <laughs> All right, we got a new dumpster diving camera. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look. A little car DVD player maybe? Nice. Here you go. Maybe some stuff for the kids to play with and test out to see if they work. Okay, so there's something else here. I don't know if there's anything in it. Oh, look. It's like a little record player oh, thing. Nice. You have to put that inside the truck. Aaron will love Yes, that. he will, won't he? Yes. Some sort of a bowl. It's from 1971. Pretty. Oh, I hear Definitely that pretty. <laughs> These are the best dumpsters because you never know what you're gonna find. A butterfly plate. I would say our best finds have came from places just like this because the person in charge another umbrella. 
the person in charge of throwing stuff away may not be savvy to the values of certain items. Oh. We have found designer shoes in a dumpster just like this. Uh, what were they called? The super expensive ones? Oh, oh, the Yeezys. The Yeezys, the yes. Yeezys. Yes. And we ended up uh, having those shoes authenticated and they sold on eBay for like, what was it, 400, 400 bucks? bucks? Crazy. Oh. It says Ultimate Light Growing Kit. I guess it's like some sort of a little. This one's yeah, something like that. You want to take it or no? Maybe. Maybe. I'm going to set it over here on top in case we decide to. Okay. There's a plate in here. Let's take a look at this and see. Oh, that's a pretty color plate. Red, do you want it or no? I don't guess so. Okay. We have limited space in the truck on what we can grab. Oh boy. I know, I hear the thunder. I'm fixing to lightning. Aww. If only that wasn't broke, I would take it. That's that is cute. so cool. It is, Dang, isn't it? I like that. What's that? I spent time on Alcatraz. That's cool. No way. That's cute. Yeah. I mean, not me personally. That's just what it says. <laughs> you belong on Alcatraz, woman. Oh my goodness. That's pretty cool. That cup actually came from Alcatraz Island, most likely. Looks like some clothes hangers in here. <sighs> some sort of a shirt. Fancy shirt, golf shirt. Yeah, oh, take that? that. What was the brand? I just saw the thing on the arm. Um, there. Antigua. I don't know what Antigua is. Okay. Take that. Not that it's doing anything. That's what it's showing. Okay. Nothing in that one. Hmm. Let's see. And that one's empty too. So I guess we gotta move on. Let's see what we have inside of an elementary school. Wow. It looks like this one here is still throwing stuff away. Inside of here. Of bubble gum with bubble gum on the inside of it. That is absolutely crazy. Uh -huh. I know. I had to look and see what was in here. You know, I think I'm gonna dump the gum and I'm gonna keep this container because I could totally use it to store leftovers and stuff in. What do you think? Sure, why not? And I don't really want the kids having gum. Like a little toothpick holder. That's. I don't know what that is. Oh. I cannot make that out, but it says food safe. <laughs> I don't know. That's very interesting. Very interesting. Looks like that is going to be it. A container, but then again, there's another dumpster right here. That is empty. I'm moving on. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> we got stuff in here. What's all this? What locks and oh wow razor blades oh Adam here take this there's stuff all in here look some diapers look there's locks allergy oh, stuff oh how cute a little dinosaur toy Jurassic World open it up and I'm like oh uh -huh. I don't know what this is a decorative mini crate that's broken oh boy okay. Oh, the foil is empty. Aww. Some sort of an air freshener. Here's another one of those locks here. There's some ring stand on the side. Alright. Some little champagne glasses here. Um, toothpaste, poly grip that's not in here. Little Velcro things, um, some dish soap. Here's some lotion. Some, oh, here's the poly grip here. Both of those there. Here's a folder. All right, so here's a few things here from this uh, Dollar General in a whole nother area. Load it up in the truck. There is definitely some stuff in here. Really? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh no, there's quite a few of these. Oh dang. Look at that. Huh? Yeah. Those are so cool. There's a ton. In here. 
Oh, we okay. took the bottle. Cool. Yeah, no, there's a bunch of these three piece balls. Get them all. Um, that's broken in there. Maybe this one will see a little better. That's a broken picture frame. That one's broken. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Honey buns. Um, looks like some of this. There's medicine stuff in here. Heartburn relief. Cool. Okay. So there's a a bag of junk here. All right. Here's some more little picture things here. There are way I can. Here's another one of the decorative. Check this out. That's very nice. I like, I like that. how that looks. We'll so there's that. Bring random stuff all over the Airbnb. <laughs> Throw them off a little bit. <laughs> Sounds like a blast. Oh, this is cool. Look, it's like a little uh, candle holder thingy here. Nice. Very nice. So there's that. Nothing inside here. All right. So looks like um, we're going to be gathering up a whole bunch of pictures uh, here. Plus, what's over there on the truck? Yeah, buddy. Not bad. Well, each of those are like $10 a piece is what it said on the outside of the box. I'm thinking to leave some in the Airbnb. That way the host can just like put them all over the place. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. That would be kind of cool. And another uh, Dollar General and I see a heater sticking up out of the dumpster. Looks like they spilled some charcoal down here as well. Oh wow, water hose in there too. Definitely a heater and the cord is still attached. Oh no, it says summer pool on it. I'll try that sucker out. Hmm. Do we want this water hose, Adam? I don't know. Huh? I'm not sure. Looks okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to dig it out. So do you want it? <laughs> Why not? All right. Water hoses are expensive. <laughs> what did you just funny. say? <laughs> you well. said we never find anything at Family Dollar. And I said, yeah, never, never. And then... Let's go. Rain on bread. What the heck is that? Well, I don't know. I just found a, uh, a bag in here. It got really curious on it. So I was like, I'm gonna dig through this. And um, I pull. I mean, they're missing their arms. Yeah. But they're cute. And then I just found this. Weird jacket thing. It's kind of hard to get to because of everything, but I don't know. But it's some like um, doll. Huh. I don't know. There's other stuff. Huh. Interesting. It looks pretty vintage too, actually. Well, she found her a good box. One of them oh, She found a nutcracker's arm. That looks like maybe another piece to it. I don't know. There we go. Another uh, Ooh. little jersey. Jersey. Yeah. Little Mets jersey. Mets. Turn it around. No name. No. no just Mets. Is yeah, it? Yeah. It says Russell Athletic on it, so okay. I don't know if that's anything or not. Yeah. So this dumpster is kind of off behind what we're guessing is a storage facility. Oh, oh, a little lava lamp. <laughs> oh, okay. I was wanting to know what that was. I'm like, what is this? Um, there's some silver suitcase thing right back off in no there, way. too. Yeah. See that silver yeah, suitcase I do. thing? I wonder if anything's in it. I don't know. It does feel pretty heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. What? Look at all the records. Oh my god, no oh, way. John. No way. Say Blue Moon. Look at all these freaking records. This is a whole box. Oh. Down here. Look at all these old Gosh, records. There's hundreds. Yeah. Here's there's this. Hundreds. The Beatles, 1962 to 66. No way. Is it in there? Yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. So we need to get these. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, let's get them all. Okay. We'll just leave the kids in East Texas and we'll take all this stuff home and we'll come back for them when we get the chance. <laughs> oh. Holy cow.
Okay, these things get heavy, don't they? Oh my gosh, literally hundreds. No, one must have just fell out. Oh no. Oh no. Let me put some cameras down. Getting the shot is very important, but we gotta hurry up and get this stuff out of here before it starts to rain rain. There's another tote under there too. I wonder what that could be. <laughs> I don't know. Here's the record that fell out. So some of these records are actually still wrapped and in the plastic too. Is no way. Yeah. Kiss. Oh wow. Oh god, they're so heavy. Okay, that is all the records. I think. What could be in here? Let's find out. Not much actually. It's kind of cool. Oh, here's a couple of other things. I don't really... Their records. What are they? Tres Hombres and ZZ Top. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the variety of records in there, actually. I don't normally like to pull a bunch of stuff out of the dumpster. But in this case, we certainly are because there's some cool stuff in here. Not sure how long the camera has not been recording, but uh, we've come across some pretty cool stuff. We've switched back to the other camera. This is a Russell Athletic bag. We pulled this out thinking there was going to be something good because that box was very heavy. Um, but unfortunately there was not anything in. But we did have to check because there was once a time we found a clothes hamper just like this that was full of sewing material and down hidden in the middle of it was this piggy bank full of silver coins, about two pounds worth. So Stacy's still looking while she's doing that. We're gonna show you what else we found. We found this picture here. I'm not sure if that's a an old print or actually a picture, not sure. Um, Stacy found this X Mods custom RC car, uh, which is super vintage. Very curious on that, and excited to look it up too. Looks like uh, it comes with some extra goodies, some extra wheels, and things like that. Oh, 1962. No this way. This is a 1962. I think Baker also uh, the Hornet 1962 school yearbook. Oh my goodness. Pokemon what? What? Dude, that's actually like uh, vintage too. Yeah. Some Blastoise. <laughs> that is so cool. I'd like to find a year on that, oh, but wow. that's There's definitely from the 90s for sure. I found a 1989 Marvel uh, Spider Man comic. No way. Throw it up here. Wow, no kidding. It looks like this is a walkthrough uh, book to the Nintendo games, the Game Boy games, the old Pokemon games. It looks like more papers. Oh my gosh, really a Troy Aikman. <laughs> a Troy Aikman Cowboys folder. Now that's insane. A Halo 2. And yes, please. That is a walkthrough book. <laughs> this is so cool. The... Uh, original not the original halo but some of the original games for xbox that is super cool oh my god adam it's a pokemon what holder no uh, way yeah pull this out of here that's this is old. this is 95 96 98 that is vintage pokemon original. look at that charmander charmeleon no charizard though Oh my. Dragon Ball Z. No. Uh, yeah. Sticker book. Dude. That's old too. And the stickers are all in it. How stinking cool is that? This is new. You finally made it to the bottom of it. <laughs> Good job. Your resilience is admirable. And you found some really cool stuff. I know. Then check this out. That's not even all the records. There's more on the other sides. Probably over 100 records. We got to look them up and see what all is there. Oh, 
Stacy's hot. <laughs> Stacy's hot. <laughs> well, you know what? It's not so much hot as it is humid. The humidity is like kicking me right now, like beating me up. I'm sweating and I didn't even do anything. <laughs> it's kind of rough in East Texas. I'm going to like blow that AC all up on my face. I, I'm so curious. I wanted to look in that. Is that in there or is it, okay, a light box? Yeah, it feels like a light box. What was it? A... Oh yeah, definitely not in there. Wait, what time is now the record? Yeah, I see some more back Yeah, here. I see them. There's a ton. How? Somebody threw them all away. <gasps> Damn. Oh, hold on. We also, hang on a second. Kane? Mm-hmm, I Kane, will. Yeah? We also got vintage Pokemon. Not cards, really? but a book. That's still folder. sick. It's pretty cool. We're going to do something we haven't done in a really long time, and it is completely warranted. We're going to do a wrap-up. This goes down as one of our top five dives of all time. Stacy's over here checking out the Mets shirt right now from 1995. Don't know what the value is on that, but it's that vintage 90s. It's gonna be good. It's 1995 and it's in really good shape. I have not seen any stains on it at all. And as exciting as that is, that is not the cream of the crop. We're about to take a look right now. You guys are not gonna believe this. This is easily one of the best dives we have ever had. Drum roll, please. Here we go. There it is. This is going to be the more notable stuff. This is obviously not every single item. I guess we'll start over here. So this is Stacy. She's keeping this. This is a bed, bath, and body rug. Used this rug right here. Sells for uh, around $30. Bird hunting vest. Uh, I think Stacy said that had a resale value of around $25 to $30. This vintage backpack with a resale value of about $30. Bucks. Russell Athletic duffel bag. Uh, those, if they're in new condition, sell for... 80 to 90 bucks. This one, we're thinking we're gonna get somewhere around 30 for it. Hobby grade RC car, I believe from 2004. Resale value on it? 60 bucks. Now we're getting into the good stuff over here, you guys. One of my favorite finds, not the most valuable find of the day, but super stinking cool. You guys know that me and my family love vintage 90s stuff, whether it's video games, Pokemon cards. So this tops the list for me, and it's one of my favorite things to find of all time. We don't wanna see this stuff in the trash anyway, but it feels extra good to be able to save it. This is valued somewhere around 20 bucks just for a folder. Here's a vintage comic book. About 10 bucks. Not bad. A Troy Aikman folder. About 10 bucks on that. Not bad for a folder. Super cool in the neighborhood of somewhere around 20 bucks on that. Not the most valuable find, but my favorite find is this Pokemon yellow, blue, red. The official strategy guide to some of my favorite childhood games. Like this makes me so happy I'm about to cry. This right here is so stinking cool. You got the big graphic of Blastoise right there on the front. I can't even believe I'm holding this right now, much less finding that. This has a value of somewhere around 50 bucks. All right, here we go, the best for last. You guys, this is in freaking insane. Insane. Never found anything close to this. This is an entire collection of records and it's actually a pretty impressive collection. All of these are KISS records. There's 14 KISS records total. The cheapest being worth uh, somewhere around 25 bucks and the most valuable being over 100. And all of this stuff is in really good condition. This entire stack of records here is uh, kind of the cream of the crop. There are about 70 records total here in this stack. This whole stack is the records that were over, say, 20 bucks a piece. So anything from 20 on up to 100 in this stack here. A rough estimation would put the value of these records somewhere around $1,675 just in these records right here. Here's a stack of the lesser valued records. These are look in the neighborhood of, you know, $8 to $12, somewhere around in there. 